Hey guys, I'm Will. Thanks for joining me today. Setting the tablescape for your Friendsgiving or your Thanksgiving gathering is going to be something you really want to pay attention to because it will set the tone for the event. Now I was inspired by these natural elements like these pumpkins that I picked up from my local market and a few items I picked up from a local craft store. I love how it came together seamlessly and I want to show you how I did that. So let's get started. Okay, to get us started building our tablescape, we need to start with a cloth placemat and then take a pedestal. This one is nice because I love the wood rustic piece. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of a gathered effect, just so it looks a little bit more organic. And then I will place my pumpkin on top. This is, these are Cinderella pumpkins, and I love this sort of greenish color. It goes well with our color theme here. And then, if you remember, I like to use books kind of as a riser, but it just adds a little bit of height variety. Then I'll take another Cinderella pumpkin. This one has a little bit more of a muted orange color. And I'll put the other one on the other side. Remember about that three sort of odd number display and it looks really good to the eye. So that's what we've just created here. And we've also created a little bit of height, but not too much height because if you're sitting down, you wanna be able to see across the table to your guest. So this is about the right height. And then I'm just gonna tuck in these salt and pepper shakers. So that's the first part of our tablescape. Now we're gonna flank either side of the centerpiece with a smaller display. I like this tray because it's shallow and I can contain everything in it. So it's wood and it kind of fits our rustic theme as well. So I'm gonna place that where it's going to go. And then in the center here, I have created uh, a little display in a ceramic cup of some of the wheat here. And I just cut it down to size, just enough to fill it. And it kind of creates a nice little dramatic effect, which I really like. Now, we're gonna just kind of fill in this area with some of these white um, gourds that you can pick up at the grocery store or at the local market. So, I'm gonna just fill some of these in here at the base. All right, so once you've done that, um, just to add a little color variety, I'm gonna take a couple of these pears and just tuck a couple of these in for a little bit of variety. Then the final thing is to take these acorns, scatter them. Now that you've done this one, we're gonna do one more identical one and then we'll flank that on the other side of the centerpiece. I love the way it came together and the only thing we have to do now is to just do our place settings. So as you gather around the table this fall season with your family and friends, they'll really appreciate how beautiful a simple table can be. It looks elaborate, but it really wasn't that difficult. Now I would love to know from you in the comments below, what type of natural elements would you put into sort of a rustic natural theme? Let me know in the comments below. And if you were inspired by today's video, please like and share. And if you haven't already, I'd love you to subscribe. Thanks so much and I really hope you have a great Thanksgiving holiday. Thanks so much for watching. So once you get the rope glued to the top of the jar, you're just gonna roll the rope around the neck. Once you get it all the way around, just take another dab of glue 